Hi everyone, and welcome to my Huang Yang spindle and VFD adventures. I built myself a CNC router and used the spindle and VFD. You can click on the card to see my CNC router build series. Since I had some problems setting up my VFD, I thought it would be a good idea to share my findings with you in this video. My spindle is the 2.2 kW water-cooled version and the accompanying VFD. So, uh, this is the connector for the spindle motor. And this connector is actually not that safe, because normally these connectors, they are uh, divided up. And often they are made of some insulating materials, and this is just metal. Uh, which can lead to, which can make it possible that you can touch the <coughs> touch the outside and get some live voltage if, if some wire touches this. And also this housing it doesn't really have a place for shielding you to connect a shielding or ground to it, so it's not not that good. To start with, I will measure the the pinouts. Don't want to say I'm dead. So that's two ohms. That's nothing. That's nothing. It's 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. So if you look at the pinout numbers, uh, okay. So it's saying this is one, that's two, and that's three. And those are the pins that are. Um, connected and four is not connected. Four should be connected to the ground, but probably is not. The shielding will be connected to the earth in the electrical cabinet and uh, this earth will be connected there as well and I will connect this, this earth further to the earth on the motor itself.
so I had quite a big problem with uh, with the settings that they wouldn't take and in the end what I did was I unscrewed all the terminals here and then when I got into the menu I just hit program before any number changed on here and then I could change them without any problem so if you encounter this problem just unscrew these wires and program it that way uh, one one important thing to know is if you're programming this is if, if you hit program for instance I want to uh, program this one which is the uh, revolution speed of the motor I hit set and then if I change something and I hit hit set to save it then and will appear if and appears then you will know it take prop it it did take properly if we go back and change it back and appears again okay it takes probably also now right now the four is blinking and it didn't do that before it was just uh, on all the time so I think that has to do with it as well so if we take the setting for instance again right now I don't change anything I press set and no end uh, appeared on the screen so you you know the old setting will be there but in this instance the old setting was the new setting so it doesn't really matter so I hope this helped for some folks the connections for the controls for the VFD are pretty straightforward there is a digital common which needs to be connected to the analog common so you can see this is connected and then there is a forward signal which is connected to the forward which is used for to turn on the VFD and then there is a voltage in which is a analog input which comes from the analog output to control the speed of the VFD so now I will set up the VFD controller and I printed out this handy sheet it's based on the RIX CNC uh, findings uh, you can find it on his YouTube channel as well uh, he had a che sheet like this I think I will put this in the description uh, because he didn't do it and so I had to make it myself uh, again um, so what what is important here is the um, most of the set to spin specifications if you get any of these wrong you can practically burn out your spindle so press program so this is PD0 PD1 we need to set it to one set then PD2 we need to set it to one set PD3 we need to set it to 400 um, I want to shift this Uh, oh, it's uh, it's already set to 400. Okay. And then PD4, we need to set it to 400, which is already 400. PD5 is also 400. PD6, we don't set. PD7, we need to set this to 20. So shift. Down, set, oh, that's not what we needed. PD7, set, down, strange, 20, 20, shift, shift, and shift, 20, set. Okay, PDA needs to be 220, it's 220 volts. Set 220, that's perfect. PD9, 15, intermediate voltage, it's set to 13, so let's shift that and make it 50. Set 
PD10 needs to be 8 volts. Let's set to 6. Let's make it 8. PD11, 120 hertz frequency. Um, 1, 2, 1, set. PD12, we don't set. Um, PD13, I could have first triggered a factory reset on PD13, but uh, I didn't do it. it would have, nah, I think it would have been a good thing to do. Okay, we lost it there. Uh, PD14, let's see, set acceleration time. Right now it's set to 20. So here they say 12, I found other places as well 12, so let's make it 12. Set. Maybe 15 the same. Um, set. Shift. To the and down. Set. Now PD44. Set to two, it needs to be set to one for forward set. Then PD 72 program shift seven. Four hundred is all right. Seventy three is one hundred twenty hertz. So that needs to be changed. Set. PD 141 needs to be 220. Uh, shift. 40. Two hundred and twenty volts. Okay, that's perfect. PD forty-two set needs to be eight point five. Need to set to eleven. Huh? Maybe I should check that again. Eight point five or nine is what I found. Um. Yeah. 2.2 kilowatts so it should be if it's 2.2 kilowatts and it's 220 volts that's the output then it could be 10 amps so maybe 9 is a safe setting okay 143 sets it just stands to at 4 it needs to be 2 uh, since this is a two-pole motor, I will have to check this to be really sure. But and then 144 needs to be set to 3000. So that should be it and now it should be, be able to run if I uh, install everything. So uh, let's try to do that and see what happens. So if you have the same model of VFD as me with a pot meter here on the front, it is really important that you switch this jumper here which uh, will set it from this pot meter to the external voltage if you use the analog in voltage then uh, you you have to switch this i found this thanks to half half baked maker um, which has a really insightful um, post on his website 
about this uh, certain type of VFD so you can see it there so that's the the jumper that needs to be set right now it's set to the right and it needs to be set to the left So that's nice, the pot meter doesn't do anything anymore. So I finally got my spindle working correctly. I hope this video helped you getting your spindle working as well. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel for more CNC videos. Feel free to give comments or ask questions about this spindle and VFD. Also check out my CNC rotor build series.